welcome to lavanya's computer classes in this video will in this video i will explain total notes of unit 1 so introduction to c language here it is the background is a very very important question is basic structure of c language structure of a c language the entire structure will be divided into like this sections documentation section linking section definition section global declaration section main function in the main function declaration section and executable section parts are there then depends upon the program sub program section okay so this is the explanation about oh, documentation section oh, in this document section these are the commenting lines slash star and oh, star slash is the commenting lines in c language and then in the linking section we have to link in the linking section have to write hash include stdio.h this is called as linking section then definition section if we want to declare any constant values how to declare mean that is declared in the declare section using hash define then uh, global declaration section whenever we are using any function programs then we go for global declaration section then main function is compulsory void main or int main then sub program and then declaration section executable section declaration section is used for declaring the variables and executable section is used for which part code of the program then depends upon the program you have to go for sub program sub program is the optional concept so this is the structure of a c language program and some simple example program is also i already mentioned then tokens what is a token means so small simple units single individual unit is known as a token these are the different types of tokens operators special symbols strings constants identifiers and keywords so in this operators are very 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 important and identifiers what is an identifier identifier is used for identifying the values or variables so those are called as variables also these are the some rules for giving an identifier identifiers even so it is uh, uh, it contains only alphabets numbers and only one special symbol that is underscore and the first character should be an alphabet it is not at all start with a digit and also no spaces are allowed and it not a keyword also so like this i give some examples also then data types what is the data type means so type of the data then keywords keywords is also called as reserved words so what are the keywords means those keywords have some special meaning that means those words are not at all used like a variable names so these are the some examples auto break case if for loop while loop type def switch those are the examples of keywords so these are the keywords what is a keyword examples of keywords next important question is data types what is a data type what are the different data types what is a data type means type of the data which type of data you want to given in a variable that is called as data type these are the four different data types basic data type derived data types user defined data types pointer data type so basic data types means integer float character those everything is the basic data types uh, syntax is data type any variable names and here this is the what is the different types of data types their length and then range so normally integer data type means it takes two bytes depends upon the compiler two bytes means two into eight sixteen bits and float means four bytes character means one that one byte eight bits so this is the question derived data types derived data types means that any data type is derived from other data type for example arrays so array means it is example for array int a of 10 here int is the basic data type from that data type only you are deriving array that's why array is the derived data type structure is also a derived data type then user defined data type the user defined data types type def is a user defined data type enum enumerated is also a user defined data type pointer data type is coming in the pointer concept okay next variables what is a variable how to declare a variable next constants constants means its variable means its values are changed from time to time execution to execution time constant means the values are fixed so what type of different types of constants are there means again numeric constants character constants so these are the examples 
and also escape sequences letters slash a slash b slash n slash n for new line slash a for alert uh, slash h for horizontal tab slash v for vertical tab these are the escape sequences characters okay then a very important question is operators operators what are the different types of operators already done these videos in my playlist check it once operators in these operators are arithmetic operators relational operators logical operators assignment operator increment or decrement operator conditional operator this is also called as term ternal operator because some are binary some are unary this is ternary operator conditional operator is also called as ternary operator bitwise operators and special operators we have to explain each and every operator what is the purpose of that operator what are the symbols here relational operators less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to those are relational operators logical operators and are not logical operators how they are working assignment operator equal to is a symbol for an assignment operator because it is used for assigning the values then increment and decrement operator plus plus and minus minus pre increment post increment pre decrement post decrement operators conditional operator is very special operator mm, conditional operator means question mark and colon so this is the syntax of conditional operator then special operator size of is and special special operator so through an example also i explain here this is the first is for uh, uh, some of our arithmetic operators this is example for relational operators and logical operators and this is an example for increment and decrement operator like this i am explain it then expression what is an expression what is a precedence and associativity what is an expression means expression is a combination of operators and operands it is called as an expression for example see here this is an example 2 plus 3 into 2 in this example 2 3 2 numbers those are called as operands operands plus and into those are called as operands operators 2 3 2 operands plus into operators so this is a combination of operators and operands that's why it is called as an expression then precedence and associativity which one is called as precedence and which one is called as associativity precedence means if the expression contains same level of operators same hierarchy level of operators then it is called as precedence that means which level of operator is executed first it is explained by the precedence different levels of operators associativity means all operators have same priority but which one is executed first it is explained by the associativity this video is also done in my playlist it is there in the playlist check it once so this is the arithmetic expressions a into b minus c here into and minus two operators are there so which one is executed first it is explained by the precedence here see into slash division um, percentile module operator above all are belongs to high level of priority plus minus is the low level priority so read this one also these are the levels of operators these are some examples for expression and conversion then type conversion very 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 important question without this question don't go for exam type conversion converting one data type into another data type is called as type conversion so how many types of type conversions you have I mean there are two types of type conversions are there one is implicit and second one is explicit conversion implicit conversion is also called as automatic conversion whenever small data type is converted into large data type it is called as implicit type conversion small my bigger data type is converted into smaller data type is called as explicit type conversion okay the implicit type conversion next one is what are the input and output statements input statement is scan of and output statement is print of and also get care get see those all are called as input functions also so these are the nodes of input and output statements with example next one is these statements is not there in your syllabus selection statements 
very very important question is selection statement conditional statements if you need them if you want to check any condition we require selection statements examples are if statement if else nested if switch statement this is only simple if statement that means without else if is used for checking the condition if condition if the condition is true execute these statements so this is the example for simple if statement we are taking two numbers a and b if a greater than b if a value is more than b print of a is greater if b greater than here check it once no else part that's why it is called a simple if statement then it, it is a if else statement what is the syntax of if else statement means if condition if the condition is true execute true block statements else it execute false block statements example check it here if a greater than b two a value side to get a b if first number is more than second number then what we said a is greater if a is not bigger than b then we write after else print of b is greater so this is a simple example for if else this is the nesting of if else statement one if else statement contains another if else statement is called as nested if statement so this is the syntax of nested if statement this is if else ladder so many ifs are coming if else if else here we check it here only one if is there else is are there but here if again else if else if like this and a switch statement what is switch statement means switch statement is called as a multi conditional statement multi way decisional making statement here in this number of options are more more number of choices are more we can select any one of the option so this is the syntax of switch switch expression case switch is compulsory coming with case option case is a reserved word case value 1 case value 2 case value 3 so many each and every case must end must complete with break that means once case value is 1 is finished then not necessary to go case value 2 just to break up the break it and again come back to after switch if no cases are matched with that expression then we go for default default is an optional one so this is the syntax of switch statement this is an example program for switch okay then looping very very important thing is looping loop means any statements are executed continuously repeatedly number of times you want to execute those are called as looping how many categories of loops you have means there are two categories are there entry control exit control these are also there in my playlist once we check it categories of loops while loop for loop do while while and for loop both are known as entry control statements do while is called as exit control statement this is the syntax of while first initialization while condition then body of the loop this is an example program for while count equal to 1 while count less than or equal to n that means up to that equal to n you have to execute it do while difference between while and do while is also very important question do first do it then check the condition so this is the syntax and this is the example program for do while and this is the for loop for is a simple one for loop contains three parts initialization testing control and then increment or decrement okay so this is example for for loop statement break statement break statement is it is called as mm, controlling uh, controlling the loop statement if you don't if you want to pre exit from the loop statement we need one command that is called as break break is a just command is break only syntax then continue statement break statement means it exit from the loop continue statement means just it exit is step uh, removing just skip the part only it removes that part and again goes to another iteration here go to statement is also there what is go to means it is going to particular block this is the syntax of go to statement so up to this we have unit 1 in this unit 1 we read all the concepts okay in this unit one first introductions are there introductions i will keep it in later uh, for loop loops if statements data types what is expression type conversion those everything is important read from this notes okay all the best
Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Inform to your friends. Thank you.